Hello everybody, I am Blazing Rebecca, and welcome back to Paranoia. Just save there, just in case. Well, <laughs> yep, definitely should. You failed. No, wow. Wow. <clears throat> well, at least I was right to save there. Broken land on the floor. Obtain door key. Discovering in the key operating room. Operating room? <coughs> Is that a diary? It could be. How interesting. It's quite a troublesome job to have as a mental doctor. Many families have loved ones or even children going into a state of madness and insanity. The causes are for us to find out. But most are not cooperating with us, therefore we can help them. As a doctor, the rules are there to keep them tamed and calm so they can recover. Or, they have to face punishment. Or in severe cases, death. Whoa! <coughs> Sorry. This asylum is built to keep those troubled individuals separate from the outside world. No shit. This is a way to protect them and the ones they care for. We did have a fair share of casualties. But the world is not fair. That is how it works. Jeez. Some were too young to die, but that is part of life. Casualties? So, this place is an asylum? Yes, a mental hospital for the mentally ill. <coughs> However, they took a cruel turn for treatment of the patients. It was more like a prison than a hospital. Instead of subtle care from the staff and nurses, they torture and beat up patients that go against the doctor's therapy. My god! Some patients even die from shock and blood loss because of the wounds. How awful. I agree, Rosie! I'm glad it's not like that anymore. Not much of a hospital if the patients were beaten and tortured. <coughs> Let's go. Wow, that was dark. Although, what the hell though? I should be expecting that from this kind of game. It is dark. Oh! Oh my god. These people are awful. Oh, we're walking on barrels. Okay. This seems to be a... Oh. Okay, I want to leave. I'm... How big is this asylum? What? 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 Hmm. So troublesome. Nurse! Yes, Doctor. It's the patient, number 264. She's causing a lot of trouble again. She's still screaming and crying for her mother? Yes. She's been there here three months. This is not acceptable. What do you suggest for therapy? <coughs> hmm. A whipping. What?! She must feel agony so she knows not to disobey again. Hmm. Agreed. This is the only way to make her and the other patients accept the reality they are in. That's not gonna help them! Rosie! Huh? Elle! Don't zone out like that! That freaked me out there! Hmm. What did you see, Rosie? Huh? I saw a nurse and a doctor. They were troubled about a patient. It was number 264. 264? I think they did terrible things to stop her crying for her mother. That's stupid, yes! Alfred. In this old asylum, those were the rules of the patient's treatment. It was always like that. It's still stupid! Jeez. Hold on, why is the number irrelevant?
Yikes. It's kind of dark up here. We need some kind of light to see this. Let's go back. Okay, so we don't go there yet. Something about the number 264 is relevant. We have, just have a cat walking around with us. No big deal. Hmm. Okay, broke the <laughs> Okay. Guess we go this way. crying. Hmm. It's Arthur. Oh. Arthur? What? He must be somewhere here. Oh my god. This must be it. I should have saved. Arthur? Are you in here? Is he in there? I can see him, but I don't think he can hear us from out here. And we can't even- <laughs> I can't get the door open! How are we gonna get in now? Don't you have, like, super strength or something? Ah! There's a gap next to the door! A gap? But neither of us can fit. We don't need to. Yes! Good thinking, Rosie. I won't be long. Thank you. Can I still save even though I have the cat? <laughs> now we're the cat. Meow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Arthur. Hello there. Are you- No. Meow meow. What? Rosie's here? How do you understand? Okay, I'll see you in the next part. See you there!